What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we are talking about Darren Collison and Stanley Johnson who have both just signed with the Los Angeles Lakers on 10 day hardship exemption contracts. So for Darren Collison, he has been retired since the 2018-19 season where he's 31 years old, played at the Pacers. He's now 34 years old and has sat out for a couple of years now and uh, refused to come back to the NBA a couple of times for the Warriors who wanted him and the Lakers, but now has finally decided to sign a 10 day contract with the Lakers. So uh, when he last played, he averaged 11 and a half points a game for the Pacers, started every single game of that year. And um, at his prime, he averaged 14 or 16 points a game for the Sacramento Kings in 2014, 15. Uh, so this player is he's very he'd be very good backup or maybe even third string point guard for the lakers isaiah thomas's 10-day contract i'm pretty sure has only a few days left on it so um once that ends then darren collison will pretty much be the backup point guard behind russell westbrook and he'll have to like share minutes with rajon rondo kind of but i think he'll get more minutes than rondo will um and then stanley johnson hasn't played uh, he didn't play for, I guess he didn't play for the Chicago Bulls because the Bulls signed him. I think he was in protocols, actually. The Bulls, yeah, the Bulls signed him to a 10-day contract on December 10th, so then that would have ended on the 20th. It is now the 24th, obviously, Christmas Eve. And so his contract with the Bulls ended. Uh, he didn't play a single game for them, actually, and that was because he was in protocols, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, he hasn't played a single game this season, played last season. For the Toronto Raptors, small forward slash power forward. So he'll kind of be um, another wing dude to have, which will be helpful because um, the Lakers don't have a ton of size in the small forward power forward department. They kind of only have LeBron, Carmelo Anthony. And besides that, there's not really a lot. They have like some centers and some wing guys, but they don't have a ton of bigger dudes and they have like trevor reese as well those are like the three dudes they have at that spot so i think that that will be helpful he averaged four and a half points a game for the raptors last season the season before that he averaged only two and a half so not great at all um but at his best he averaged nearly nine points a game for the pistons he definitely was a draft bust because he was the eighth overall pick in the 2015 draft and the best he ever averaged was nearly nine points a game in his third season for the pistons so not even that great uh he's been playing in the g league for the Lakers G League team um, for a little bit. I made a video a couple weeks back about that. Um, and obviously he played well enough to get signed by two NBA teams since then, being the Chicago Bulls, who actually signed him, I believe, at the beginning of the season, before the season started, and then waived him. They signed him to a 10-day contract, and he never played because he was in health and safety protocols. And now the Lakers have signed him as well. He's averaging 23 points a game. Wait, no, 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 no. He's averaging 15 and a half points, uh, two steals, half a block, two assists, and seven rebounds a game in the G League for the South Bay Lakers, which is pretty good. That'll definitely get you called up in these times because there are players averaging like seven points a game in the G League getting called up right now just because of how, how little um, players available are on teams right now. So I would say Darren Collison is the bigger signing for sure like no doubt in my mind i think darren is a great great signing and it's really cool to see that he actually is back in the nba because the lakers have wanted him for years and years and years and years now uh 2018-19 was a while ago he missed the 2019-2020 season and the 2020-21 season so he's been out of the league for two whole seasons and now part of this season as well um and he made it very clear he did not want to play again in the nba he announced his retirement june 28th 2019 but with all this happening and all this opportunity to make some, a lot of money more i don't know if he's just finally like okay fine i'll play for the lakers i think he's from la he played at ucla if i'm not mistaken um so it is pretty cool he's made over 43 million dollars throughout his career through, through his salaries made 10 million dollars in his last year with indiana so i'm pretty shocked that uh, he didn't come back. $43 million is a lot, though. Like, you can definitely live your whole life off of that. So maybe he was like, I've made enough money. I don't need to come back. But when you're averaging almost 11 and a half points a game and six assists in your final year, I feel like you want to just keep coming back because he's still got 28 minutes a game 
Like, it's not like they weren't playing him. He started every single game that he played that year. And so it's really weird to me that a starter like that just retired. But hey, it's what happened. Um, I, I really like the signing for the Lakers, even though they do have a lot of point guards right now with having Westbrook. Of course, LeBron is a point guard. Isaiah Thomas and um, Rajon Rondo and now Darren Collison. But like I said, Rondo, it doesn't really, he doesn't really play a ton. The Lakers kind of like him more to be an ego or, uh, I mean, a locker room guy, like a leader. Uh, he doesn't play a ton. And then Isaiah Thomas will have his 10-day contract end very, very soon. I, I'll check how long that is. But uh, pretty soon, I think in like th less than three days, I would assume. Because I feel like it's been a while. But also, uh, Darren Collison, I'm sure we'll get a good amount of minutes at the backup point card. Because the Lakers will probably want to see what they have there. Okay, Isaiah Thomas... Signed a 10-day contract with the Lakers on December 17th. So he has three days left. His contract ends in three days. So he will play for Christmas and maybe one more game after that. But I'm not quite sure about that. He's getting paid $135,000 for his 10-day with the Lakers, it says. He's made also almost $34 million throughout his career. So they've made pretty similar numbers. That's pretty crazy because Isaiah Thomas, way better player in his prime. Way better. Average like 30 points a game. But all in all, great signings by the Lakers. Way better than the um, the Jeremy or Jerario Jones or whatever. I forget his name. And um, the two-way player after waking Chondi Brown. These were definitely better signings than that, in my opinion. I like him a lot more. I think they will contribute a lot more. Yes, Stanley Johnson. I know a lot of people don't really like him. Don't have the best feelings about him. And feel like maybe he's not. Uh, I can see why you could say he's not the right answer. But... Um, I do think he is better than Jim Derario Jones or however you say his name. So yeah, all in all, good signings by the Lakers. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck around all the way till the end, uh, drop down any comments you have in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys all later in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching again. I know I already said that, but peace out, my friends. Bye. Bye.